Hi Sand Dolls, YouTube has been having some publishing issues, which means that my subbies will get this video last, um, but I'll try to send it to a few of you. And if you ever have trouble finding my videos on a daily basis, just go to my channel um, where they have all the videos and just scroll down to find the most um, recent video. So hopefully this will all be resolved very soon, uh, but nonetheless, this will be my part two of the KO recap because yesterday I was a little emotional and not very articulate with my words. So let's start over. The Ortiz versus Mayweather bout was actually fairly good. All knew that Floyd would win. He's an overall better fighter and Ortiz is lacking emotional strength, clearly, um, where Floyd in that department wins over most boxers hands down. Victor's whole game plan seemed to be uh, to manhandle the, at that time, former uh, champ, and he did. There were several instances where Victor shook the shit out of Floyd. Floyd got rocked. Yes, Floyd Mayweather got rocked. Was Victor going to win? Probably not, but he was giving Floyd hell, and Floyd surely was wondering why Victor was still standing on his feet and not even shaking a little bit after all of those combos. So then there was that headbutt, which was wrong, clearly wrong on so many levels. Some of you are saying that that was the point that Victor gave up. Um, I don't get how you can say that because he had just thrown a barrage of combos, but nonetheless, point was taken fine. Victor was fine with that. He knew what he did was wrong, and I think he was really sympathetic as he really doesn't like the whole Dirty Fighter Association. So he was embarrassed, and I think he was overly uh, trying to apologize for that. So they hug it out, and the apologies get uh, flowing from Victor's mouth as it's Victor. He's very much a loving man. Um, he kisses on the cheek, and they break. Victor's still feeling bad, goes in for another hug. Joe motherfucking Cortez turns his back as Ortiz is still looking at Joe, hands down, and Floyd clocks him with a one-two. Now, was it legal? Obviously, it was legal. Nobody with a brain is debating this. However, I have to ask, who the fuck does this? Who does this? Honestly, who the fuck does this? How can I say funk and then fuck? Our most respected, generally, fighter in the sport is Manny Pacquiao. Would he have done this? Would he have hit somebody with their arms down? Would he have done this? I ask you that. Would he have done this? I know this is going to cause mad beef because there's the whole Manny Floyd bullshit going on, but honestly, would Manny have done this? Would any respectable fighter have done this? It was a completely classless move. I'm going to quote one of my friends on this. There was once a time when warriors would rather die than dishonor themselves. I love that. And it is very true. Floyd more than dishonored himself last night. Imagine if you and I decide to have a duel to the death. We both show up, the crowd show up, all have their popcorn, but you left your gun at home. While looking at the crowd, I shoot you in the back. What does that say about me? A lot of you are saying this is boxing, not ballet. What the hell was he doing being all emotional with Floyd? Get it. Point taken. It's Victor. He's a man, perhaps with too much love, and I think he really felt embarrassed by his actions and reacted the only really way that he knows how, and that's to um, show the overly emotional, apologetic Victor Ortiz. Then there are the he deserved it calls. Uh, he threw a headbutt. It's a street move. He got busted on his ass in a return street move. Boxing is a warrior sport, and headbutts are thrown on a regular basis, it seems. Sometimes it's overly instinctive. Uh, whether this was the case or not doesn't really matter at this point, but to call a headbutt and an unarmed KO the same thing is completely absurd. All right, so this was my part two on that KO recap, and I apologize if I offended anybody um, last night. Actually, no, I, I don't apologize. Um, it is what it is. I was disgusted last night, as I am tonight. I'm trying to be a little bit more articulate and get my thoughts out there because when I'm angry, um, yeah, I just I just get to talking. <laughs> men, to me, are almost to be idolized. I'm very much into the traditional roles of men and women. Regardless of what you see here, I am very much into traditional roles. And I love when men push their bodies to the limit, um, as in the case with boxers. But last night, I was truly disappointed in not only Floyd, but the reaction of many men who would have done the exact same thing. That is not something to brag about in my eyes. Anyhow, my next mini-sode will be a rundown of all of the fights, and I will see you guys over there. Again, if you can't find it, go to my channel, scroll down, and find the latest one in my channel viewer, because YouTube is having some major technical difficulties. <laughs> all right, I will see you guys very soon. Peace.